Hey guys, today we are going to talk about GameStop, 50% off clearance items. So not only are the bundles all on clearance, it's 50% off. So you can get booster packs for a dollar, you can get bundles for $9, which is less than a dollar pack. Pretty incredible. I mean, 50% off clearance and every magic item is on clearance means that if you're lucky and you go to a GameStop, you can pretty much clean house. Now, it will be absolutely savage because these prices are, I mean, a dollar a pack or even 75 cents a pack is ridiculous, right? So whoever gets there first is going to buy all of them. That being said, I do expect to see a lot more sales come in the coming days. Walgreens in particular has a interesting 50%, I think 40% sale. Uh, but GameStop, I mean 50% off clearance items, $1 packs. And so these prices, these sticker items actually are less. So it's for probably $9 bundles, $1 packs, $2 deck, dual decks maybe, and Planeswalker decks. So of course, whoever is going to get there is likely going to be a deuce bag and buy all the cards because that is Magic the Gathering for you. Great sale. Uh, if you're lucky, then you will make out like a bandit. If you're not lucky, the GameStop would be totally gone. But, but, I guarantee you we will see more sales from Barnes & Nobles, possibly towards R Us, because no one wants to carry magic at this moment in time. Hence why GameStop, GameStop is basically lighting these cards on fire. $1 a pack from the MSRP of $4.29 is not a happy GameStop. They are savagely taking a loss on all of these products just to get rid of them. And there will be more stores to do so in the future. Right now is a great time to buy cheap Magic cards. It's not a good time to sell Magic cards. A really bad time if you are GameStop. That being said, we will see Walmart. We will see about Walmart. Walmart is the big one. GameStop, I mean, there's what, a couple thousand GameStops. I suspect that Walmart will be able to sell more than a GameStop. Maybe it's the same. Huge, huge discounts incoming. Do not buy at retail. Do not buy Iconic Masters. Do not buy Unstable at retail. You can get it for so cheap coming. It's not even Christmas time. Wait until Christmas sales and you're going to see these for like pennies. They're already in dollars, right? But you might see them for 50 cents, maybe a quarter pack. You think I'm kidding here. You think I'm kidding. But to get deals in a retail space is incredibly, incredibly difficult right now. Or to... The retail space is a savage area. And as you can see, this happy consumer purchased everything he could pick up and off he goes. So if you're in the local area where maybe a lot of people in GameStop don't play Magic, definitely check it out. If you're not, save your money. Do not buy anything yet because the sales are coming. People say Black Friday sales was good. It was all right. I mean, it was okay. Cyber Monday. Okay. What meh. Magic cards are not what they used to be. Try, if anyone's buying a Magic card for $4 MSRP for one of these packs, they're doing it incorrectly. 40% uh, off, as you can see, Magic, you can get Ixlon. Rivals of Ixlon is doing incredibly poorly right now as a box. It's very cheap. Go to eBay it, and you will see that something has changed. And people will say, oh, controversy, controversy. I've never seen a dollar a pack. I've never seen $9 a bundle. And this is not even the lowest point because Christmas sales are coming. And people ask, oh, how do you get these things? I mean, I don't know. Like, Dave and Adam just send me coupons. Maybe they don't send everyone the same coupons, but when I stack them, like, it's literally fat packs for nine bucks, which is what GameStop does, which now makes sense because everyone's trying to get rid of fat packs for nine bucks. Now, these are Dragon Mage fat packs I'm buying and not Afer 
Revolt, which is better, but still, Magic cards are not what they used to be. No one should be paying retail. And your game store, your local game store cannot even compete against GameStop. We live in different times. We live in times where Walmart is probably going to be the number one seller of Iconic Masters by a hundredfold. We live in times where Polygon is saying really bad stuff about our community. And we live in times where everyone is divided. And this game, I do believe the salvation is in MTG Arena. If they make MTG Arena what it could be, they will be fine. If they cannot, I worry for the game. Because $1 packs, $9 bundles, that is not a great economic sign for the longevity of this game. It tells me that GameStop really hates magic. Anyway, bye guys.